Hi everyone, welcome back to your Astro Week Who's Hot This Week horoscopes for the week of January 28th to 29th, 2014. Presented by the sunnyside.net. Hi everyone, I'm Sunny. Okay, first, reminder I have a show coming up on Valentine's Day at the Dirty Jersey in Kamloops, BC. Please, everyone, tell your friends. Tickets are $15 for singles and $25 for a pair. It's a great date night for Valentine's Day. So, once again, I'll be performing my Dirty Hypnosis show at the Dirty Jersey in Kamloops, BC on Valentine's Day. For more information, please visit lovehypnotist.com and, of course, the sunnyside.net. All right, here we go. January 28th to 29th, 2014. Just a little heads up, I guess, <laughs> for everyone. Events that happen in the summer around the beginning of August will be revisited, and decisions about values, beliefs, and where you're headed in life will be questioned. And that's just the overall theme for the week. Dear Aries, expect your work-life balance to come into question. But trust your gut. You didn't get this far by backing off from a fight, so take your chance. Dear Taurus, this week comes down to your beliefs. Is it, finally, is it finally enough is enough? Or have you just given too much? And questions will come up. How much do you really deserve? And once you figure it all out, then, um, then go get it. Dear Gemini, expect something financial to finally give way. If you've been working hard, then you should be receiving good fortune right now. Team up if you can, but also have the confidence to go it alone. Right now, partnerships are there for you in joint finances, and you're a good bet. So you don't really have to ask for too much help. So you don't have to ask for too much help right now, Gemini. They should, um, doors should be open and they should come knocking. <laughs> they should come knock. People will come calling for you. All right, dear Cancer, your enough is enough tipping point will be in your personal identity and how you relate to others. Perhaps you need to help others. Perhaps the need to help others has finally taken its toll, or maybe there's something that you want to do, or make happen with a partner, just be prepared to answer a couple of questions, but know in advance that you do have the strength to carry on. All right, dear Leo, you're in a cycle right now where your desire to help others is interfering with your need to help yourself. This week, you'll make the choice to stop letting yourself and your dreams be pulled down by others. Mm -hmm. Dear Virgo, your personal creativity and how you express yourself has been at odds with those who are helping you. What? <laughs> I with those who are here to help you. So, what do you do? Do you create something to make the fans happy? Or do you inspire, inspire for yourself? It kind of also looks like a project is completed and it's time to move forward with your dreams. Dear Libra, this is a time of balancing your luck. Um, this is a time of balancing your luck with what you know, will all, with what you'll always have at home. All right. So the real question suddenly is going to boil down to, do you want what you already have, or that you know you're already attracting, that you always attract, or do you really want to play your cards and be lucky? Well, that's it. That, I mean, that's the pull, push and pull. It's between your luck and your love this week, what you naturally attract and what can, um, act, and what can happen by chance. Dear Scorpio, if it happened to someone else, we'd probably be laughing at it because, <laughs> probably because we'd probably be laughing at it. But because it happened to you, or mm, <laughs> you kind of have to roll your eyes and shake it off. All right. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> there you go, Scorpio. Bury those feelings. <laughs> it's still kind of funny, though. Just remember. Okay, just remember. Didn't feel good last time. It's not going to feel good this time. But it all made you stronger, and so will this. Dear Sagittarius. Okay, there you go. That was a good weekend. And you should be feeling charged and ready for the week. And as, um, oh, and as for your breakthrough decision, it should be a breeze. You're on a high and confidence will go a long way to making things work. It's an amazing time. Oh, and it's an amazing time, Sagittarius, to uh, make some money. You and Gemini, it's a really good time to make some money. So get up, so get up, so team up and get going. Dear Capricorn, you're going to have a me, you kind of experience. And for a patient and quiet sign, Prepare yourself for an outburst. It should, it should be cute. Okay, Then move on. Then move on. Seriously, don't hold a grudge. And that's the theme for everyone here this week. It's, um, it's just a time to evaluate what's working. You know, we made some decisions, and it's a time to evaluate. 
and then move on. What you really need to know, so what you guys really need to know if you're worried, is that we will visit these decisions again. But right now, like this is your second chance. And when you return, it's not going to look the same. The last couple of months were the testing period. This is the adjustment. So be careful and get it right. All right, dear Aquarius, your routine is being disrupted by prior obligations and it's stressing. <laughs> and it's stressing and things are changing. If you find yourself lost in all of this, try and focus on yourself. Love is waiting with someone, love is, dear Aquarius, love is waiting with someone you feel a past connection with. Dearest Pisces, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay, dearest Pisces, I'm sorry I called you an asshole. I thought you were an Aries. Okay, now I'm sorry, Aries. <laughs> oh my God, okay. All right, all right, enough of all of that, okay. You're sweet. Pisces, you're sweet. Um, but, here we go. But you've had enough, but you've had enough of giving um, everyone what they want. You've, uh, you've been giving in too easy. And uh, there, if there's nothing in it for you, then this week know that you finally have the strength to walk away. And you really do have the strength and you can be confident in yourself and you're not an asshole. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really cute when you're tough. Okay, here we go. This week's lucky and love signs are doo -doo -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. Aries. Oh, not Aries. Not Aries. Oh, sorry. Okay, Aquarius and Leo. Woo! As for everyone else, be an absolutely amazing, fantastic, super wonderful wing, and pick up the check from the sunny side.net. I'm Sunny, <laughs> wishing everyone an absolutely wonderful romantic adventure, and I'll see you in a couple of days.